Waitrose owns and operates its very own 4,000 acre farm in Hampshire and I'm here today at the beautiful Leckford estate to find out more about the fantastic produce they grow here. I'm meeting with Colin Pratt who's going to show me some of the orchards at Leckford and explain exactly what makes the apples grown here so special. You know we've got some challenging soil conditions here at Leckford uh, being that we've only got about a foot of soil um, and then directly beneath that is chalk. Now I think the founder, Speed and Lewis, liked a bit of a challenge <laughs> and I think what we've got now actually is, is some apples that taste actually quite unique. It really gives a good sort of depth of flavour, um, a fantastic texture of the, the flesh of the apple as well. And how many apples do you grow? Yeah, we grow about sort of 250 to 300 tonnes of apples and pears a year uh, and we've got about 50 acres. So Colin, as well as the Coxes, what other varieties do you grow here on the farm? We've got some Gala, we've got some Braeburn, some Conference pears, Commies pears and um, also uh, Bramley apple. So you grew up on the estate? Yes, I did, yeah. yeah. My father took a job in 1977 as a resident thatcher on the estate when I was 10 months old and I've been here ever since. So you know this area like the back of your hand? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, as a child, it's, it's not just a farm, but it is also our playground. There's always a good sense of community around right. the farm. And that's really important, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. Living and working within yeah. this community, it must absolutely. be it's fantastic. Yeah. How are the apples graded? OK, when we look at a, at a class one apple, as you can see, it's really good depth of colour, good skin finish, good shape. And then what about this then, this small one? This is a class two. As you can see, the difference in colour is quite significant. So this will go for apple juice or cider. So every apple here gets used? Yeah, because we don't like to waste anything if we can. So anything that doesn't make class one, and if it's class two, it's juice or cider. It's amazing that Colin's been here for so long. He's so passionate about what he does and obviously has a real affinity with Leckford. Finding out about the different types of grades of apples here has been fantastic. And I've got a great recipe that uses both the cider and the apples. I'm going to be cooking one of my favourite dishes using apples from the orchard. Sauté chicken with cider and tarragon. I've seasoned some chicken thigh fillets with allspice and browned them off in my pan in a little bit of butter. And to that I'm going to add some of this lovely Leckford cider which I've reduced down by half. In that goes. So just pop a lid on and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes until the chicken's completely cooked through. Then in a separate pan, just pop it onto the heat and add a little bit of butter. And here I've got some Leckford Cox apples. They're going into the pan now, along with some Leckford chestnut mushrooms that I've sliced. In they go. And just cook them over a fairly high heat for a few minutes until we get some really nice colour on there. So my mushrooms and apples have got some lovely colour on them. I'm going to lift off the lid. My chicken is completely cooked through, so let's just tip those in and just give it a little stir. And now to finish it all off, I'm going to add a splash of double cream and the perfect partner for chicken, some fresh tarragon. In that goes. Gently stir together and heat it through. And that's all ready to serve now with mash and greens. And what a great way to make the most of these lovely Letford ingredients. 